Recording in progress.
Hello, good afternoon everyone and welcome to the orientation and the technical training for PWDs. But before anything else, please change your name to this format, agency name, name and location. Please. <laughs> All right, thank you. And since everyone's looking fresh, <laughs> I know, even though I can't see your face yet, um, may I request everybody to please turn your camera on for the documentation? Okay, I'm seeing beautiful faces. <laughs> All right, are you ready to show your nicest smiles? Okay, so smile in three, two, one. All right, so we have also LGU Tubigo in Bohol, OMSW, Sir Marlo. We have CSWDO. Oh, where is it? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, CSWDO, Pidao, uh, Kadlaon, welcome. We have MSWDO, Corella jo Jonali. We also have Sir Conrado, um, Miss Roseville. Okay, we have MSWDO, LGU, Man. <laughs> Man, what's this? Okay. Manhuyod, sorry for that. So we have Pidao, uh, from Pidao, Sir Juanito. We have also from LGU Sikihor, Miss Zusan, or Zusain. <laughs> okay, so we have from LGU Liluan, Miss Mary, welcome. We also have Miss Evelyn, we have Miss Corazon. And Pidao Tanhai, we also have here from our Facebook, we have Miss Min Winchelle Grace, we have Miss I, I, Sir Roberto, and Sir Matt. Welcome, everyone. All right, thank you for that. And by the way, for this orientation, we will be giving attendance certificates. So make sure to stay tuned until the end of the orientation because we will be posting a code of the day which, will, uh, which you will write on the evaluation at the end of this program. And that evaluation will be the basis of the certificate. So please take note of the code of the day later on. All right. So at this point, may I request everyone to please pause for the invocation and then followed by the national anthem. Sang Awit ng Pilipinas. Oh, 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 oh,
welcome us to this orientation. Let's have Mr. Ares Zeta, IT Officer 2, for his welcome message. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, okay ba yung audio? Hello? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just checking because may nag-ano kanina na walang audio. Um, may hapon sa tanan. Good afternoon. May yung udto. Uh, to our distinguished guests from various local government units and private partners or PW stakeholders, mayong hapon. Um, the DICT, the Department of Information and Communications Technology, in its mandate for our national ICT development, development gears towards elevating the lives of Filipinos by equipping them with digital skills making them globally competitive in the fast-changing landscape of ICT industry. This includes our PWDs who have their own set of unique characteristics and capabilities. Individuals who are physically challenged are just as capable as others who do not have the same uh, predicament. They only need the opportunities and support from our agencies and institutions that can truly make a difference in their situation. With the support from our national, national and local government units, this disabled person, let's just say special persons, will have the opportunity to, to be on par with the rest of the society. According to the United Nations Office of the Higher High Commissioner on Human Rights, to make society more accessible for people with disabilities, the PWD community should be consulted and included in the crafting of various policies and programs that could affect them. In the Philippines, Republic Act Number no. 7277, also known as the Magna Carta of Disabled Persons of 1992, provides for the rehabilitation, self-development, self-reliance of disabled persons and aids PWDs in their integration into mainstream society. It is amended upon, under Republic Act number no. 9442, providing more accessibility for different people with disabilities in their day-to-day -day activities. It allows them to live as freely and independently as possible. RA 727 ensures that persons with disabilities shall not be denied the opportunity to work. They will be given the same rights, compensation, and benefits as any able-bodied person. With this in mind, with this in mind, the department under the digital jobs program, digital jobs page program, in partnership with the Bert Walahan team, offers online training which gives disabled individuals the chance to equip themselves with the skills necessary to compete in the rapidly increasing ICT-based industries, such, such as virtual, virtual assistance, graphic design which are becoming more in demand as business owners turns to online mo modes of conducting various aspects of their business. Through the, this program, the ICT aims to empower people with disabilities to have a stable source of income. Again, I welcome everybody, I welcome everyone to today's orientation and we may, and we may all have the fruitful discussion ahead. And again, thank you. Thank you for that warm welcome, Sir Aris. Now let's take a glimpse to some of our success stories. These are some of our successful trainees who have achieved their goals through our program. Some of them were jobless before the ICT training and after which they've landed a job with a very competitive salary. So to our viewers, take note, we can have a very competitive salary, okay? So we, we are encouraging you to join our, our program, all right? So others also continued their journey with us. So they have become part of our trainers, all right? So you can be either working in a private or you can also uh, partner us to be one of our trainers. Anyway, Let's now watch and be more inspired by some of the success stories of the graduates of Digital Jobs PH.
The Department of Information and Communications Technology, or DICT, is the primary entity of the Philippine government tasked to plan, develop, and promote the national ICT development agenda. To build the capacity of individuals in the countryside, the department is implementing the Rural Impact Sourcing Program. The RIS program focuses on high-density areas with low employment due to lack of investors. It also provides access to new income opportunities to individuals that might not otherwise be employed in the ICT-enabled sectors. The DICT has developed a module that will provide technical training on these jobs. The training primarily aims to increase people's hireability by focusing on development and improvement on their ICT skills and utilize it for employment opportunities. In 2017, the DICT conducted the training program in 26 locations all over the country and produced 534 online Filipino workers. Let us meet a few of them. I'm Jacqueline Torres, 36 years of age, a single mom to three kids. Losing my husband and providing for my kids was already challenging. On top of this, I haven't finished my education and had no work experience. Pero kailangan ko pong kumayod para sa aking pamilya. Kaya naisipan ko po na magkaroon ng pagkakitaan. Malaki po ang naging pagbabago sa aking buhay dahil isa po akong solo parent. Maswerte po ako, nabigyan po ako ng oportunidad na makasali sa training na ito. Uh, Masayang-masaya po ako at very proud sa aking sarili, sa kasalukuyan po. Napag-aaral ko ang aking mga anak ng maayos at nagagamit po po ang mga natutunan ko. Computer skills and knowledge through outside. I am June Barangan, one of the DICT's national trainers for the Rural Impact Sourcing Technical Training Program. The partnership will bring ICT jobs to the countryside. The people in San Carlos will, will never have to go to Cebu City or Manila City to the big cities. They can get their jobs in the ICT industry in their hometown while getting paid almost the same. While we are just starting small here in San Carlos City, um, we'll be starting with 33 seats. But um, over time, we are planning to expand and might be hitting 100 seats by the end of the year. 
My name is uh, Leif Brian Margalio. I am the CEO and founder of Virtual Workforce Professionals. Everything started when I attended uh, the RIS technical training uh, graduation. I saw the potential of San Carlos based on the graduates and the skill sets of their graduates. Our company provides uh, call center and virtual assistant services to clients all over the globe. So we have been providing jobs to the countryside, especially to people who'd like to work home-based. So this is the same structure that we'll be using to provide jobs to uh, uh, San Carlos and the city and their talents. This is a partnership between the city government and our barangay officials in our respective barangays where we establish tech for ed programs. So this is really a win-win situation for everybody, especially the city government. The stories of Jacqueline, the partnership of the LGU and virtual workforce professionals, Fe and Jesus, are only a few of many more inspiring individuals who have rose above the challenges of unemployment with the help of training assistance from the RIS TTP. In the years to come, the DICT wishes to expand this network to even farther areas where the next Filipino global business may spring forth. For, for 10 years. Kapag kasi nakikita na, na nila ako, buo na yung pag-aantayas nila kasi um, gan, ganito ko eh. Kaya ang lakso mo ko. Nakikita nila yung hindi sa ability ko eh. Hindi yung ability ko. Sabi ko, carry lang. Next, next na ano na lang. Kampay na lang. Kasi kung mag-umukuka, wala din may ilalim. Gusto ang gusto ko talaga matuto. And sobra yung ilalimit ko na makaplift yung mga person to disability because of that training. Kasi gusto ko mag-give back. Gusto ko mag-training ng mga person to disability. 
Kasi kung, kung kinaya ko, kaya din nila. Kung, kung ako nagsaksid, kaya din ng mga person with disability. I'm a positive person kasi so kahit na nanahirit ako, tinitin ako pa din yung positive side ng buhay. Nung panahon po na hindi ko po alam kung saan ako magsisimula after the Marawi crisis po, is uh, dumating sila sa buhay ko, binigyan nila ako ng opportunity na makapagsimula, matutunan kung paano ang maging online worker, na ngayon is kumikita na ako kasama ang pamilya ko. So, ang ano ko sa iba is suportahan natin ang mga ganitong ano ng gobyerno kasi wala naman hangad ang gobyerno sa atin kung hindi ang magandang kinabukasan. Yung confidence boost ko kasi na ano para na nagiging ko yung confidence ko. Na, pwede pala akong maging reflect pwede pala akong maging maging ano sa home. Pwede pa na akong mag-multitask kasi yun yung ginawa namin sa training. Natutuwa kami nung while well, the training is ano, pwede, nakikipagbiruan pa kami sa kanila na hindi namin nafe-feel na trainer namin sila or taga DICT sila. Ang ganda kasi nung ano nila kasi talagang inalagaan nila kami hanggang sa makauwi kami sa bahay namin. Pinafollow up talaga kami kung nakauwi na ba kami o okay na ba kami, ganun. Nakaka-inspire din ako ng mga fellow students ko na kung kaya ko, mas kaya nila. Binago nito yung buhay ko. Na, nabago yung pananaw ko sa, sa ICT na makakatuwing pala sa akin ng sobra. Hindi na ako online teacher ngayon na hindi na rin ako nagrerenta ng bahay sa sa Iligan para lang maka, makakita ng ano sa online job. Kumikita na ako while spending more time with my family. Nagkaroon ako ng mas maraming kaibigan na puro positibo yung pananaw sa buhay. Nagkaroon po ako ng opportunity na makapagturo po sa ibang kababaihan sa especially sa Marawi City at sa Kasayligan City kasi after the training po is nagkandak na din po ako ng training sa mga kababaihan na gusto maging freelancer. Hanggang ngayon po, ina inaani ko pa rin yung binigay sa akin ng DICT kasi masasabi ko na ang mga, pa mga pangarap ko na naabot ko is isa ang DICT sa dahilan kung bakit ko to naabot. Maraming salamat sa DICT for, for the trust they give me. Nabibigyan ng pagkakataon yung mga, yung mga rural areas na mag-succeed din and maging urban din in, in the future. Ah, hindi, hindi ko alam pa paano kami makakapagpasalamat uh, but uh, through our prayers na nawa, ay mas lumawak ang uh, ang inyong objective, ang inyong vision and we're praying na hindi lang ang maabot ay eh, yung kaliblibliban na pag may wifi talaga is may hanap buhay. Sana po ay suportahan natin yung mga ganitong produkto or ganitong programa ng DICT RIST kasi para din naman po ito sa atin, nagpapakahirap sila para sa atin at saka binibigyan tayo ng mga opportunity. Katulad ko na nung una is hindi ko alam na ito pala yung magbibigay sa akin ng ganitong opportunity. Kaya once po na may nakita tayo mga ganitong programa is suportahan po natin. Katulad ko din po na sumuporta sa kanila, sana magkaisa po tayo para sa magandang kinabukasan po. Ang proyekto po nyo, the best one of the best project now we will uh, pray na mas lumawak salamat salamat po maraming maraming salamat po talaga sa inyo DICT RIST lalong lalo na po sa DICT ng Marawi City at saka sa gobyerno po maraming maraming salamat po yes na yes
very inspiring. Yeah, so anyway, you guys can also become one of our success stories. That's for sure. In fact, I am one of the graduates of this program, and I can guarantee you that this journey is all worth it. You just need to try. <laughs> okay, so at this juncture, let's all welcome Mr. Angelito Gregorio Giverola, Project Development <laughs> 2, to give us an insight into Digital Jobs PH project. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's, uh, it's good to see a lot of people uh, joining us today as we introduce a new round of uh, digital jobs training, this time for uh, specifically for the uh, uh, persons with disabilities. Now, let me tell you about uh, the digital jobs uh, program of the DICT. As we uh, saw in the, the Video earlier, uh, there was a brief about introduction the digital of, uh, jobs, uh, the history of the, of the digital DICT. jobs program. As and, we uh, uh, saw in the, the video earlier, I, want, uh, I wanted to talk to you more about uh, uh, the digital jobs program. So here are the project overview and guidelines and uh, schedules of uh, the program. So. Uh, Briefly, here's a, a short history of uh, the program as uh, narrated during the, the video presentation. Uh, the most important takeaway from the slide is that uh, the digital jobs uh, started out as a rural impact sourcing program at the DICT, which evolved to become uh, the digital, digital jobs uh, training program. It aims to promote ICT-enabled jobs as a high-value economic activity in the rural communities that are not yet ready to host IT business processing operations. So uh, we have been doing uh, this program for several years. In fact, uh, many of our staff here are products of uh, the digital jobs program. So it opens a lot of uh, opportunities for uh, young people, uh, well, actually people of all, all walks of life, who are open to learn new skills or upgrade current ones, so uh, which would enable them to better qualify for IT-based uh, uh, professions or uh, or uh, uh, jobs. So uh, it also gives new opportunities for people who have sort of limited their, uh, their uh, options, uh, either by choice or by circumstance. Like for instance, the uh, PWDs, uh, because ICT is not, it, it, it will passes uh, so many walks of life and it can be done in any location for as long as there is uh, the necessary uh, infrastructure that's, uh, that enables people to be able to use uh, this technology for their economic activities. The objective of the program is to provide their technical training to increase the capabilities of people in order to land high security jobs, to increase the ICT technical skills of people in the countryside, to increase the hireability of people to, to land the job in the field of ICT, to promote local talents and local businesses, and finally, to help provide economic opportunities not only for the graduates, but also for the people who directly and indirectly benefit from this initiative. Uh, training programs that uh, the digital jobs program can provide. The most common of these uh, uh, trainings that's being availed is the uh, general virtual assistance uh, training and the graphics design uh, training. But all the other trainings are available uh, through the digital jobs, some of them requiring uh, 
a basic history, a basic knowledge of uh, ICT uh, applications. So uh, there are there are uh, training courses that may become a second step to uh, the basic digital jobs training program. The priority beneficiaries of the digital jobs program include the out of school youth, the unemployed, to gain more, to gain new uh, skills and uh, skill sets for this new uh, IT enabled environment, the under underemployed who can uh, upgrade their skills so that they are qualified to do uh, new endeavors. It's also open for students, for senior citizens, and most especially for persons with disabilities. Our training methodology uh, is this. Uh, we have two uh, main, mod uh, main uh, mode of delivery for the training. One is the face-to-face, -face, which has a number, which is, has a maximum of 25 participants or 30 if online. And the duration of the training is 24 sessions of uh, four hours a day, which is uh, the uh, theoretical portion, the lecture portion, the training portion of uh, the, the digital jobs, plus a 21-day campaign. Now, the 21-day campaign is... Uh, sort of, uh, uh, it, it, it's like an internship for them. They are out in the field uh, to try and uh, practice uh, the skills that they learn, the, the theoretical learnings that they learn during the, the uh, classroom sessions. So this is the time where they try to land uh, clients. And at the same time, uh, during this time, they are still being coached. So they're not left alone. They're being coached for 21 days to see if they can land clients, to learn how it is uh, outside uh, selling, marketing, and promoting uh, the skill sets that uh, they have learned. So the medium is uh, through Google Classroom and uh, Zoom. And also on the back channel, the, 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 group, the, the training group will have their own chat groups so they can they can talk among the, the trainees and the trainers uh, unofficially. Here is the sample of our course schedule. Uh, take note that the dates that are, are uh, indicated here are not the real dates. It was taken from uh, the previous uh, schedules from last year. So this is how a typical uh, training program, a training course uh, goes through uh, for the digital jobs. So you can see here, uh, there's this, uh, there, the sessions goes from one to 12. And these are all uh, lectures. These are all uh, uh, facilitated work. Uh, wherein our trainers work uh, almost one-on-one, -on -one, almost one-on-one. -on -one. In most cases, uh, they, the trainers work one-on-one -on -one with our our trainees, and which is followed by the by a twenty-one day uh, campaign. And then uh, after the twenty-one day campaign, uh, they are assessed as to the uh, knowledge that they have acquired. The skill sets that they have they have uh, acquired, uh, especially during the 21 day campaign, wherein uh, the, the the trainees are are uh, assessed as to their readiness for the industry, and to be followed by a graduation. So each uh, each trainee uh, has to pass the assessment in order to graduate, so that we have. Uh, our quality standards uh, that, uh, that uh, we can assure that all of the graduates of the digital jobs training has the skill sets, are capable, and you know, uh, the ICT can put our stamp, our name on it, that these people are competent and capable.
So uh, what support is needed from the local government unit? Number one, because the digital job streaming is a partnership between the, the ICT and the local government unit because uh, the local government unit is uh, the key to the success of uh, each program. Why? Because they are the ones who provide us with the participants. They are the ones who knows the, the people in their own locality and the best people that they can recommend to go through the program. So uh, they also provide us with a venue that has uh, a, a PC and uh, stable connectivity come face-to-face on program. If it's not face-to-face, then each uh, the, the participants, the trainees that's going to be um, what you call this, uh, recommended by the local government unit uh, has to have certain uh, criteria para mahimong successful at program. Like, for instance, like basic things, like they should have at least access to a computer or laptop and access to uh, stable internet connection. Labi na kung uh, online ang ito ang uh, training. Kay kinanglan mong yun sa nila na nasa connectivity and uh, uh, computer because when they, as, aside from, from the training, when they're actually going out to the field, uh, either in the, the campaign period or uh, when they're graduated, they still would need uh, these basic uh, um, requirements so that they can practice the, the, the training and skill set they have acquired. Also, uh, for uh, this is for uh, for face to face food for the trainer and trainees. But siguro if a sponsor and sa LGU kay Aron. Uh, motivated ang ato ang trainees to participate. Uh, there are even instances we've had local government unit partners who has provided a small allowance for uh, for the trainees, so that uh, uh, it, it helps the trainees go from 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 their homes to the training venue uh, without any problem. So it depends on the support of the local government unit. Nindot yun ang nangingon anak na uh, uh, full support ang LGU so that uh, uh, motivated and uh, dili kayo ma-pressure ang ito ang mga trainees. And also, uh, there's a need for co- co- coordination for the launching and graduation para uh, ma-inganyo po ang ito ang mga, mga trainees. Yeah. Uh, inig- Launching activities na to, uh, pakita sa LGU na full support sila sa activities in the locality. And most especially, like any graduation, it's good to have uh, uh, the key people uh, involved in the program. Uh, hand them their certificates of completion and all the awards that can be given to them. Onya, finally, moral support and monitoring of scholars. Okay, these are... Uh, members of the local government units community. Nindot yun, ipakita nila, nga supportado sila. Uh, kan, uh, uh, nga, ane, napoy ga apong nila. Okay, we've had instances mong good na uh, na yung mga LGU na uh, in the beginning maayo kayo ang ato ang, ato ang uh, sugod sa program and somewhere in the middle towards the end Maubos ang support nila, di na kaya sila, mag, di na kaya sila magpakabana sa ito ang mga, mga uh, trainees. Uh, better dito na from beginning to end, kompleto ato moral support, kompleto ang ato pagbantay sa ito ang uh, trainees. Okay. At the end of the program, it's really nice to see uh, high percentages of completion, high percentages of uh, graduates from the program kay one mana uh, shared manta uh, shared mana ang credit of uh, the program not only does it go to the ICT not only does it go to the trainees also uh, the credit goes to the local government unit okay uh, it, it's 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 good but it's good optics 
uh, uh, the government, the local government is supportive to initiatives for uh, empowering uh, ang ilahang mga lumulupyo. And that's it for me. So uh, I will now hand you over back to our host for uh, more of our uh, orientation program. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Sir Ags. Indeed, this project is very promising and a great opportunity for everyone. And yes, <laughs> I would agree that the partnership from the LGU is very important because I am, I am one of those who actually benefited from the partnership of the ICT and LGU. Yeah, so anyway, um, uh, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of our provincial officers from Bohol, Negor, and Sikihor. Also for the focal persons, uh, person of PWDs. And to our newcomers, welcome to our orientation. Okay, so anyway, moving on. Moving on. All right. So this is the code that I mentioned earlier. So our code of the day is empowered PWD. Take note, all letters are in small letters. Okay. So small letters, empowered PWD. So you will be using this code for the evaluation that we will be giving to you at the end of the um, orientation. Okay, so for the next part of this orientation, we have a special guest to tell us more about the training opportunities for PWD community. He has a degree in computer technology and has been working online for more than 10 years now. His strong background in computer technology leads him to develop courses and teaching materials for virtual Lahan training program. He is also a co-founder and chief operations officer of Virtual Lahan. Let's all welcome Mr. Josh Jersava. Thank you so much, Kim, and hi everyone uh, to all participants. Maayong hapon sa tanan. So today I'm hapon. going to ask, yeah, maayong hapon sa tanan. And I've seen I we have a product of Virtual Lahan here and from uh, LGU to begin. Uh, hi, Anne, uh, good to see you here. All right, so let me share my screen and uh, share with you what is for Tolahan and what are the services that we are offering that you can also benefit, all right? Okay. So let me know if you can see my screen. All right, okay, yes, sir. thank you so much, okay. All right, so Virtual Hand is a social enterprise that uses technology to advance our advocacy, which is helping those who are suffering from job discrimination, particularly persons with disability. That is our main focus. And then uh, persons with disabilities are mostly discriminated. We are all aware of that. And um, they are discriminated from maybe from jobs because of their physical condition or mental condi condition. And judging alone from this, they are always neglected because of their physical conditions. And here comes virtual hand to the rescue to empower. I like the code that you posted in there to empower persons with disability because that's what we are promoting, you know, including persons with disability to the available job opportunities in the industry right now. So oftentimes, companies are not hiring them, quote unquote, persons with disability, because they think that persons with disability are not capable of doing the work despite their educational background and achievements. We have tons of stories to tell uh, that these things really happening in the industry. At Virtual Hand, we debunk this claim because for the past six years of working with people with disability, we've proven that persons with disability is capable. They are more driven once given an opportunity to work in the industry and, you know, just to support them in a sense that 
you know, guiding them and giving them opportunity at the same time, leading them towards uh, to become a successful, particularly in the industry, digital industry that we are in right now. And that's what we do at Virtual Hand. Since 2016, at, I mean, since 2015, by the way, I just want to mention this, that we are one of the pioneering companies who partnered with the ICT when they launched uh, our IST program. So until now, we're still partnered with uh, the ICT. And uh, since 2015, we able to graduate uh, for almost uh, 800 students and 98% completion rate and 63% employment rate. And currently, we are up to uh, 70 to 75 uh, com um, employment rate and 300 or 254% of our students said that their income increased after joining our program. And we are present, currently present in more than 60 plus provinces nationwide. And we receive more than 18 uh, major uh, awards nationally and internationally. And we have at least 12,000 plus million, um, I mean, 12 million media reach and we've been featured in major um, broadcasting agency in the Philippines and internationally. So virtual hand, so these are the courses just like what the ICD is offering. So some of it, we are also offering those courses at virtual hand. So these are the courses that we are offering at virtual hand. So we have the generation, we have graphic design, we have video editing, we have e-commerce, social media marketing and management, WordPress management, and the best part of our program is that we included well-being session. So what is well-being session? The well-being session is focused more on the mental health and at the same time, um, giving an opportunity to our, our applicants or I mean to our students to, uh, to, to outcast or I mean to, to uh, take out the baggages that they are on their shoulders. So it's led by our uh, psychologists. We have psychologists who are uh, mentoring our students. So we are not only focused on the skills, but at the same time, we're also focused on the well-being of our students, particularly right now, uh, mental health is one of the biggest issues that we are facing. Uh, maybe uh, pandemic is a big contributor of this factor, but uh, since we started our program, we already uh, included well-being to uh, our program. And the duration of our program here at Virtual Hands, so we have five weeks intensive training. So from basic and to advanced, and then we have two weeks internship program or OJT apprenticeship. So we are partnering with different companies locally and abroad to let our students um, have a real experience or how to become a real virtual assistant. Because um, as, as per observation, because I am the one cr uh, creating the program, I mean, in charge of the training at Virtual Hand. Uh, so what I've noticed is that since majority of our participants and our students doesn't have any background, like work experience, then um, what they are actually asking us at Virtual Hand to help them have this experience to work with a company, particularly foreign company. Kasi kasagaran dyan, kasagaran dyan sa mga paan, sa mga participants na to. Particularly, if you don't have any uh, work experience, our confidence level is very, very low. And once we've given this opportunity, partner them, let them manage the client, foreign clients, you know, let them talk to them in English. Those things, then we've noticed that the confidence level of our students really increase. And from then on, no, uh, makasugakod na sila to, to look for the opportunity in the different platforms out there like Upwork, Online Jobs, that PH, LinkedIn, and some other top platforms that offers 
uh, job for persons uh, for virtual assistant. And we also have employment support. So after our training, so they move to OJT and after OJT, then we are helping them equip them, particularly their materials. So we are helping them build their portfolio. So we have two portfolios. So we have PDF form, type of portfolio. So what is portfolio? So that is a sample of your work. You know, kasagaran karon, mostly, most of the clients, they are actually looking for someone who has an experience to use different tools or per se, know how to use Canva, those things. And, you know, uh, during the training, we, we help them start the, uh, started to build their portfolio, like creating graphics on Canva, creating videos using Filmora, those things. And then we are uh, putting that in, in a folder, and then we are gathering those uh, data and projects that they did during the training and build it as a beautiful portfolio. And we also transforming that document into a video presentation. This is to showcase that persons with disability and some other students, or I mean sector that we are, uh, we are serving at Virtualahan, they have this capacity and they are capable to do the work of uh, the clients out there. And aside from that, so employment supports, we have this resume building, we have an, uh, Mac interview, we have skills alignment because most of our students doesn't know yet at the moment kung unsay capacity nila, asa sila banda. So through skills alignment, we identify their strength and then reinforce mm -hmm. that strength and put that in the resume, kung unsay strength nila. So that's what we are doing, putting that in the resume, in their cover letter to align everything para pagpasa nila na sa ilang paans application, uh, maybe via Upwork on all the jobs that page, whatever platform that they are using, everything is aligned according to the position that they are applying. And the schedule of our program is from Mondays to Fridays, that's 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Why 6 p.m. to 10 p.m.? It's all because some of our beneficiaries, students, they have a job, they have a day job. And at the same time, since this is persons with disability, most of them have um, appointments to their doctors, you know, to, to give way to that and to cater them, to cater their needs, then we set the time at 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. for them to join the program. And the basic requirements, so, as what you've seen on the screen right now. So this, uh, we, at least you have uh, a desktop or a laptop with, uh, it's, it's supposed to be the processor, uh, i3 and up. It's all because why we require this, because we are sending tools to our students that they need to install on their desktop or laptop. So just like Filmora, it's a video editing tool. So. We are, we are giving them access to our tools and then they need to, uh, to uh, install it on their computer. So kasagaran mang good, if ever that, if, if uh, the processor is below I, uh, I3, then mostly dili makuan, dili siya capable to, to host the tools that we are uh, sending over to our students. And at least 10 Mbps Ethernet connection. I think that's the, that's the minimum at the moment. And uh, in terms of uh, age, then as long as you are 18 years old and above, then you can be part of our program. And in terms of uh, computer skills, at least you know how to navigate internet and use the basic functions of uh, your computer, like, you know, how to use um, applications like Microsoft applications, and you know how to log into your email and navigate, like watching uh, watching videos on YouTube or, you know, uh, those similar stuff. So this is one of our impact uh, story. 
uh, a story to tell. We have many, 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 many stories to tell, just like Anne here from uh, LG to Begun. Uh, she's actually one of our top scholar at Virtual Hand. So Charina lost her ability to hear at the age of nine during a meningitis epidemic in Davos City. And she graduated from our digital skills training in 2017. And became one of our top scholars. Before that, her only livelihood is cleaning other people's houses and washing dishes in restaurants. We then employed her to work for a German client as a social media manager, where she just didn't earn, but also mentored by citizen entrepreneurs and executives. Now, Charina is earning five times more and became the breadwinner for her family. She is also saving for the future of her newborn daughter. In addition to uh, what I presented here, so I mainly focus on persons with disability, but we are also uh, serving solo parent, uh, displaced worker due to pandemic, and as well as persons deprived of liberty. In fact, uh, we conducted a training inside Lapu Lapu uh, Bay GMP and also in Safe Heaven um, facility in Cebu City. So those are the, the sectors that we are serving at the moment. So that ends my presentation. If you have any questions, so feel free to ask. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Josh. Yeah, Sir Josh, Masuti, Sir. Nice kayo yung program. You have a very wonderful advocacy. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. Yeah, thank you, sir. So, kumusta tang tanan? <laughs> okay pa ta? We are receiving a lot of information, but the gist of it all actually is just we have a wonderful program that could really empower okay, that's all right. us. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so please give us a thumbs up if you're feeling all right. <laughs> please give us a thumbs up. Also, our viewers here on Facebook, please give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Hi, Facebook. All right. Okay, so we have here our training specialist, our um, PDO2, and some of our focals from provinces who are willing to answer your questions. Facebook, you can send your questions there. Okay, so our floor now is open for questions and clarifications. Okay, so do we have questions here? Hi. Yes. Yeah, again, good afternoon. I'm Dina from uh, the um, Region 7. Um, we'd also like to thank not uh, or PD, PWD focals across the region uh, from Negros Oriental, Kikipur, from Bohol, and Cebu for giving us now this time to share to the PWD, uh, PWD community what we have in store for them. So uh, I believe it was not, uh, if I haven't missed it, no, uh, but Sir Josh, would you mind giving us the link on our chat box na lang for the uh, application? form where they can um, apply you know, for the training. I believe this will be uh, implemented by a Region 7 once we have everything, you no, know, um, once we have everything in order, we already have the participants and uh, we already have uh, all the support. Uh, the, the documentation is all up then um, we will be starting the training. I think that's June, Sir Ags, if I'm not mistaken, June uh, to July. And so it's on our uh, chat box for those who are uh, on the Zoom room, no? And we will also be posting this link, the application form that at the um, Facebook Live. So those who are watching on Facebook can I know, can uh, send in your application from there. Yes. 
All right. So any questions or clarifications? Uh, we have here from Facebook. Is this already implemented in Cebu City? Open Pabani for partnership for centers catering the above mentioned categories. Yes, sir. Ads? Uh, yes, good afternoon. Uh, yes, this is still open for Cebu City. We have uh, uh, coordination with the uh, uh, Department of Social Welfare Services. Uh, you could get in touch with them so that they can get in touch with us or you can uh, get in touch with us directly. So this is open to uh, all the LGUs within Region 7. Uh, especially for the ones in Cebu City, okay, uh, the DICT uh, regional office is based here. So, kung naay mga uh, further inquiries, uh, you could uh, get in touch with us or visit us here at the office, which is near Plaza Independencia. The, the, the DICT office is the old uh, National Telecommunications Office. All right. Thank you, Sir Ags. Any more questions? Yes. Hello, ma'am. May yeah. hapon. May hapon, sir. Yes, ma. Alexandra sir. Arias, ma'am, from Chateau Negros Oriental. Ning, mautan na lang ko, ma'am, kung kami diri sa province of Negros Oriental, ang saan mo pag-avail anang training? Okay. Hi. I'd like to uh, answer that question, sir, no, from uh, si Aton. This training is online. So um, all of the modules will be done online. As mentioned by Sir Josh on the requirements, you must have those not initially to, um, to apply for the, the training. So katong atong link na atong gishare sa Zoom, uh, you'll just have to click on that and process the application from there on. If our screening team will evaluate no, your uh, requirements and then um, after that, they will uh, connect with you if you pass or fail. Of course, there are um, screening processes that is done by our virtual hand team. So you can actually join online dia yeah, sa si Aton. Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much. Welcome. Who else? Okay, from our Facebook viewers, you can post your questions. And from our, <laughs> yes, yeah, Zoom, natay mga pangutana. Ah, okay, and by the way, um, there will be no attendance link for this webinar. An evaluation link will be posted later uh, with a special code. Yeah, the code that we flashed earlier. Don't worry, we will flash it back later on. So, yeah, you just need to fill out the evaluation form and, yeah, please send them only until five this afternoon okay so any more questions yes claro ang tanan be kung claro be thumbs up again <laughs> i'd also like to add miss kim no um, okay ayun uh Oh, after this no, well, webinar, actually this is the launching stage nato here in Region 7. So specifically for Region 7 only. no. So um, if you are from outside of Region 7, you're asking, can I join since this is online? Actually, there are, it, this program is implemented across the country. So you might want to coordinate with the DICT um, office near you. No, so uh, you'll have to check with them when is their schedule and how to avail of the of the training. So we are prioritizing for this implementation in Region Seven those who are in Region Seven only. So uh, for more information on the application process and what you need for the requirements, we will be uh, doing an official post no from uh, to our Facebook uh, page, Sadi ICT Region Seven. So stay tuned. Okay, so we have another clarification here. 
uh, from Miss Ivy. Hi, I would like to clarify that DJP and Virtual Ahan are both a different program. Thank you. Yes, Miss Dina. Actually, the Digital Jobs PH is the, the mother program. So Virtual Ahan is our service provider for this special training for the PWD. So they will be the ones to provide the training and the ACT is the provision of the participants as well as the other um, uh, processes involved. So Virtual Ahan actually has their own training, but for this implementation NAMO sa Region 7, uh, the, the, this is in collaboration with them. So DICT and Virtual Ahan collaboration for this one single batch in Region 7. Okay, hope that clears it, it out. All right, thank you, Miss Dina. And so we have um, here. Ma'am Kim. Ah, uh, yes, yes, uh, sorry. I think um, no one asked this one, baka nahiya lang. Is this a free training? Uh, can you... Ano ma'am, just in case, kasi parang ito yung mga tanong na hindi pa na tanong ng mga partisip uh, attendee natin. Yes, that's right. So again, this is a free training given to you by DICT and Virtual Ahan. Okay, so please spread the news that we have a good opportunity here and it's free. All right, so for... Another question we have here. Hi, everyone from CSWDO Pidal. Can I ask uh, for the link? Okay, sir, wait. <laughs> so we will send the link again. And also we will be posting all the links through our Facebook page. Thank you. And oh, where is that? Okay, so here's another question. How about wanted to enroll but no computer or laptop? Is it okay, a mobile phone? Thank you from Miss Shira. Yeah, and I think I will have to add uh, for that question, Miss Kim. No, um, this is where our LGU partners come in. You know, our um, focus from the local government. That's why we specifically invited the focus from uh, across. Region 7, the LGUs, since uh, I am, uh, it, it's part of the basic requirements and uh, as much as we would like to uh, give opportunities to every PWD that we have, but uh, uh, due to limited lang ang slots for implementation, we had to screen uh, all the applicants thoroughly. Now, uh, in the event, no, that uh, there are really willing applicants and uh, willing to commit to the training that uh, lack you know, the basic requirements such as the, the laptops or the uh, internet connection. I think this is where the federations of PWDs across LGUs, you know, if there are uh, non-government organizations that are handling PWDs who are part of this group um, today, this, which is, uh, this is where you come in. You know? Maybe you can uh, work together with the PWD communities and uh, help, uh, talk with each other how you can help out the, the members, no? maybe in the provision of a, a working space, siguro, if they don't have internet connection or the provision of uh, laptops or desktops for the training. So that would uh, really be appreciated no? uh, by our PWD uh, interested um applicants. So, Mona, ang amuhan nyo sa atong mga CSWDO, sa atong mga MSWDO, kung um, saan ninyo makahelp sa atong mga PWD communities. No? So, I think that, that will help you a lot as well. And then additionally, no, uh, for the side of the ICT, uh, across the provinces of uh, Cebu, um, we also have uh, Siki Horneg or Anbohol, we have tech for ed centers no, that can I give na asa ato ang the ICT offices. No? So you can visit our um, the ICT offices near you to ask how we can be of help. Kay. We have this uh, program tech for ed 
no that we provide uh, equipment to the schools to the LGUs no uh, to help out in our trade ICT training activities or initiatives yeah all right thank you miss Dina another question we have from miss Ivy of DSWD F07 do you have restriction on educational qualification of a person with disability um I think it's Sir Josh. <laughs> Could you yeah. answer this question? Thank yeah, you. So, so let, yeah, let me address that. No, we don't have any description. In fact, we have a uh, former student of us. She's only grade three. So I said you can read and write and knows how to navigate your computer and at the same time knows the basic of it. Then good to go. All right. Thank you, Sir Josh. Uh, well, Sir Josh, we have a question. Yes, we have a question, Sir Josh, from uh, uh, one of our um, viewers. Um, the question is if it's going to be open to uh, uh, all kinds of disability. Mm -hmm. uh, right. yes, uh, I am tempted. Oh, I am tempted to answer. Uh, uh, for the meantime, we're going to be limiting the the uh, range of disability for uh, lower limb disability. Am I correct, uh, Sir Josh? Uh, not not necessarily because as much as possible, we want to to reject that. I mean, we want to debunk that that you know uh, in the certain disabilities, but. At Virtualahan, what we are uh, promoting is that any disabilities that you have, as long as that you're capable, then you can join the training. So we have blind and we do have deaf and, you know, any types, any types of disability, you are feel free to be part of our program. Thank you very much for clarifying that, Sir Josh. Yep. Okay, so another one we have from Pidao. Lapu Lapu. Uh, she said, good, good afternoon, Mom Kim. Yes, good afternoon. So I am a person with hard of hearing and currently working as admin staff in Pidao Lapu Lapu City and VP of Cebu Federation of the Deaf. Daghan ayo kung nakatunan diri, though limited lang akong capacity. Wow, thank you for that. Um, limited lang yung capacity uh, because of hearing loss. Anyway, my question is, is it possible na kami mga deaf leads or leaders from seven cities will visit to your office at your convenient time to talk with us about your program and services, especially sa enhanced skills for job in BPO and others? So, yeah. Sir Ags. Okay, I'll add for that, Kim. Um, thank you, no, for for the uh, comment from our deaf community. You can actually send in your uh, letters of intent if any, no, to our um email address. You can uh you can see that on our Facebook page and where you can send in your email address. Just address it to our regional director, Director uh, Frederick Amores, and um. You can also get in touch with us, no, sa ILCDB team, uh, through our email ILCDB or uh, ILCDB seven. Can you type it in? Uh, chat na lang Kim. ILCDB seven at ict.gov.ph so we can uh, talk about this further. Thank you. Thank you, Miss D. All right. So another question. He said uh, from Sir Gilbolingo. Okay, sorry if I mispronounced. Oh, mom. All right, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Miss Eva. Okay, she said I'm I'm interested, ma'am, how to avail. All right. So um we'll be again we'll be posting the links on how to enroll for this program through our Facebook page and also email. I know you can just check our Facebook page. And also another thing, she said, if working 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. still can avail. Um, I think, yes, you still can. Right, Sir Josh? Because your training will start at 6 to 10 p.m., right? Right. Uh, that's right, uh, Miss Kim. But I want to be honest, okay? <laughs> I want to be honest. Uh, if you're working from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., 
I don't think uh, ma-cater ma- pa siya sa imong load. Because we have activities uh, that uh, we assign to our students in every courses that we're offering and that would eat a lot of your time. So ma-overwhelmed yun ka and the tendency is that you will drop from the training. So honest question lang. Honest answer lang. <laughs> Indeed, this training needs commitment. I can tell you personally, it's my it was my experience. <laughs> Not so easy, but it's all worth it. Okay, thank you, sir. Anyway, so here is this training free. Yes, again, this training is for free. Very, very free. <laughs> yes. All right. And yeah, you ju- we just need your commitment for the training because we're giving it to you. Uh, to you for free. Okay. Thank you. Any more clarifications, questions? Mm-hmm. Ma'am, I have a I, question. Yes, go ahead, please. Uh, 6 to 9 p.m. and training. 6 to 10 p.m. Oh, 6 to 10. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's correct. 6 to 10 p.m. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, um, just to clarify, is it 6 to 10 p.m. every day or is it a number of days in a week? Lang? 6, to, uh, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. That's from uh, Monday to Thursday. And then our well-being session is scheduled on Friday. So Friday is uh, during 10, p- uh, 10 a.m. to 12 uh, p.m. and 2 p.m. until 4 p.m. Thank you. I also and would like to add, Kim, no? um, okay. some of you might have also already heard about the Digital Jobs PH technical training, which ran from two to three months. No, This is a uh, different course no? or um, iba po yung uh, takbo ng... Uh, this training for PWDs, again, this is a special uh, implementation in which yung nasabi nga ni Sir Josh na my well-being sessions, which is very ano, essential sa ating persons with disabilities na participants. So that's why uh, some of you might uh, ask no, na uh, bakit ganito yung sa dati naming DJPH, tapos iba yung sa inyo. So of course, uh, we are uh, catering the special sector here. Yeah, thank you. And just want to add up, uh, Miss Dina, you know, for, for this program, particularly we, in the partnership with Virtual Hand. So our focus here is to address all the concerns of persons with disabilities. So we're an expert on that, particularly in the job uh, sector, on how to apply to onlinejobs.ph, Upwork, and some other platforms out there. You know, we can address all your concerns that do I have to disclose my disability before sending my applications, those things. So we are expert on that area. So um, I, I want to assure you that if you if you enroll at Virtual Hand, then we would able to cater all your needs. All right. Thank you, Sir Josh. So one more question. We have here, is there a possibility if the assessment can be done off-site from Ms. Ivy of DSWDF07? Sir Josh, I think this is still for you. Mm-hmm. Well, we're running 100% uh, digitally, so <laughs> uh, off-site lahat. So as long as that you have internet connections, then you can join, uh, join the channel. All right, so no more questions. Okay. Application, ma'am. Okay. And, ma'am. Go ahead, please. No age limit. No age limit, Miss D. Is it eighteen above, Josh? Right? Yeah. Yeah. No age limit, Yeah. Yeah. It's not above. We uh, we have sixty years old students, <laughs> seventy years old. As long as you, you know, uh, we admire those people that, despite of their age, are still willing to upgrade their skills. So go ahead. <laughs> yes, surely not. And uh, we are 
encouraging everyone who are interested to send in their applications uh, through the link no, that is posted on our Facebook, uh, the, on our Zoom and this FB stream and uh, await for our official announcement after this uh, webinar on our Facebook page. We will be providing the instructions on how to apply. And I uh, would like to uh, get as many applicants as possible across Region 7 to prepare for our implementation uh, that's on June 20. So hopefully, makasend in po kayo ng inyong mga applications. And I know limited lang po ang ating slots, but uh, of course, we'd like to uh, take advantage of this opportunity as much as we can. Yeah. All right, thank you. Uh, so that's it for our open forum. Okay, so everyone give us a thumbs up, please. <laughs> Are we still there? We're okay. okay. All right, so good. So anyway, let's go to our code of the day. This is one of the most important part here. Yes. Code of the day. Again, it is Empowered PWD. So make sure to input the correct code to get the certificate. And please, please allow us to process them at least for a month, okay, for the e-certificates. Also, submit the evaluation form only until 5 this afternoon. All right? So only if, until 5 this afternoon. So that's all for this afternoon. I am Kip. <laughs> yes, sorry. Ah, yeah, last photo off. Okay, may I request everybody to please turn on your camera and show us your beautiful faces. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, smile. Okay, okay. good job. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. So again, I'm Kim, your host for this afternoon, leaving you be empowered and be the start of change. Bye, everyone. Thank you for your time. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Yeah, before you leave, our evaluation link is posted on our Facebook page. Okay. Again, empowered PWD is the code of the day, yes? Pwede na ako lang question? Oh, pwede, ma'am. Uh, on sa mm -hmm. mga 